All right, Skyler, a day of practice today after a tough uh, one nothing loss to Laval last night. Let's just go back to that game yesterday first off. Um, not a lot of offense getting going for your team. Just how did you see that one? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was a good overall game by us. Uh, the goal was an unlucky bounce for sure, but uh, I thought overall it was a good game. We, we had our chances. They had theirs, and unfortunately, we were, just weren't able to capitalize. What did you see – I guess Laval change between the first two games, like the differences in their game between that first game and then the game yesterday. Uh, I think they're just a lot tighter defensively. Uh, they didn't give us too much offensively. And uh, I really think their, their game didn't change too much. Um, they're, they're a hard aggressive team on the four check and, and that's what they did again. And um, we handled it a lot better. I thought in the second game, but uh, they did their job and they uh, ended up coming out on top. How tough is that to control sometimes? We talked with Moose head coach Pascal Vincent about that a couple of times. Just Laval's a very north-south team. They come with a really strong forecheck. How important is it just to be able to contain that and then generate some offense the other way? Yeah, it's huge. Um, I think a, a lot of it, I mean, we pre-scout every single game and uh, 12 days of really just preparing for Laval really helped us out. Um, but yeah, they're, they're a lot different from every other team that we face in this division. So it's, it's a little unusual playing against a team that that's – their game is that hard forecheck, so it's a little bit more difficult for us. But uh, I thought we, we handled it the right way and uh, just kind of continue on with that, that game plan into these next two here, and hopefully we come out on top. You know, the, the past two games, you've always seen a lot of posts for your team. You know, it's got to be about like four or five posts in those first two games. Is that frustrating for you guys that you're hitting so much iron and outs, or is it sort of a little motivating knowing you're just that close to, to finding the back of the net? Yeah, I think it's a little of both. Uh, in the first game, it uh, it was a little too close for comfort. Uh, Gus with a goal in the final second there. But, yeah, there's a lot of posts in that game too. And then uh, in this last game here, there was a lot of posts as well. So I think it's just being that close. We know we're doing the right things, and uh, eventually they're going to go in. You've been skating alongside um, Marco Dano and Cole Perfetti for the last little while now. Uh, what do you like about your line's play as of late? Yeah, I, I really like it. I think uh, we're doing the right things out there. Uh, defensively, we're not giving them much, uh, and offensively, we're creating, and uh, that's what we're out there to do. And uh, I think we're we're all doing our job. And then uh, going into tomorrow's game against Laval, uh, what's it going to take? I guess uh, is it going to be finally getting those posts to go in, or just what do you guys think you need to change uh, heading into tomorrow's game? Yeah, I think uh, you know last game, I think we only had four shots in the first period, so we gotta we gotta get a lot more shots uh, early on on their goalies, but. Uh, I think overall, we'll just stick to what we've been doing. It's, uh, it's working. Um, unfortunately, last game, like you said, we weren't able to capitalize on any chances, but they're going to come. Um, we just got to stick to it and stick to our game plan.